but it's a lovely morning. And um, and next door has uh, has extended the wall for whatever privacy reasons. So the dog getting savaged over there. Lovely morning, about nine thirty. <clears throat> I've got to go and extend my visa at Lao. I was trying to um, I was trying to do an e visa, but because I'm living, not living, I'm in Thailand. They won't allow me to do an e visa. You can only do an e visa if you're in, if you're physically in, or that physically outside of the country. You know. Um, which is a bit of a pig. No real reason for it other than the fact that they want you to travel across a border, go to a local Thai embassy, make the visa there, then come back. It's just that, you know, dogs are getting off. Anyway, yeah, it's good uh, because I can make this video naked because uh, no one, they can't see me there and that there's too far for them to see me from the road. So yeah, pretty good. Then they've built that wall for us. <coughs> right. What we're gonna go over today is Mapra, the monk's dog. Last night she was on the road. She was on the road when out on the front there, where she likes to just lie there. She was there. And then she followed when I came back she followed from the road to in here. This was last night. You know, seven o'clock ish. And then she just lay on the floor here. I was like, what's going on with her? It's so strange. So um, she's lying on the floor. And then one of the... Uh, I know she's looking very, very sorry for herself. You know, and I thought, like, she had a stroke or something. She was on one side and all this, you know. She couldn't get up, you know. So I, I lift... And then one of the dogs ran past her and she was screaming. Wah, wah, but she's very sensitive. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so I came out this morning. Go She's lying on the floor and she looks very, very sorry for herself. So, um, I went, one of the, when I alerted to it, was one of the small baby dogs ran past her and just running past her and hitting her body while he ran past her. She was screaming in pain, you know, and I thought, oh, she's. Now, I picked her up once about uh, a month or so ago and she had, um, I and mean, in, she had a hard breast, um, and uh, and it was it was hard and it was painful for to the touch for her, you know. So you know, I thought, oh, it's gonna be cancer. Went to the then the, um, the the vet about it, and she um, and she says, oh, it'll be cancer, you know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, what can you do? I'll cut it out. You know what I mean? They don't care. They'll, they'll do anything to make some more money. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll cut that out. Huh? What? That's gonna end it. it is, you'll be cutting everything out. You know what I mean? You'll, be, you'll have to be coming back about ten times, cutting everything off. She'll have no tail left. And um, anyway, so so yeah, so she's screaming, right? So I ended up picking. She, she was just lying on the floor down there in a the right state. So I, I picked her up and put her onto it, so she's not. You haven't got the cold concrete. And then um, and I've uh, she she put herself over there in the corner, you know. So I put this on her. And she just got herself into this position. I'll give her some liver. I give her some liver and heart and all this kind of stuff that I just had, um, which I was going to give to my girlfriend, Bon, but uh, I think this is more important. You mean? Here we go. This one, she doesn't move much anyway. She wouldn't move much more than this all day, but she would like to go and, you know, sit out on the front. You'd love to go and sit out on the road, wouldn't you? She does appreciate me, I know that. Very, very strange dog. So let's hope it's going to be all right. She ate that. It's a good sign that she ate that. But I'll tell you what, if I had to put the food in her mouth, she wouldn't have ate it. She's in a bad state. When they can't, when they, well, although she got here, 
she got here by her own by her own volition she got here under her own steam so um i know you're a bloody lovely one aren't you hey the marpera so yeah so i'm gonna make a move across the border out of thailand Hopefully you'll still be here when I get back, won't you? Although I think you, your life's not going to be the best. You haven't had a good life as it is, have you? Until I found you. Yeah. Okay, then. That's the updates.